Sarah Chana here. I'm here with Zach Hall, government major? Government, yeah, I think so. Government major? If I go to class. <laughs> and Zach is also president of University of Democrats? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and I have a kind of a confession, Zach. I Don't not, say this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say this. I have not registered to vote. Wait a second. Do you realize what time it is? I know. I Do have. You? Okay. I have until midnight tonight, right? For those at home watching, it is like almost 9 o'clock. She's got, how many hours is that? 9, 10, 11. You've got three hours left. Three hours. And she would not be able to vote in this historic election. I yeah. think that's a problem, Marchana. Yeah, so right now I'm going to register to vote so we have it on documentation. That way we do it right because I tried doing it at home and it didn't work. And if the government says you didn't turn this in, we, just show we them got the video. proof. Exactly, yeah. So, proof. Zach, while I fill this out, why don't you talk to the audience yeah. a little bit about why you feel it's important that the, student, like, the college market, why should they should vote this year? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, if I can just say, I mean, young people are voting in unprecedented levels and during the primaries uh, 600,000 young people came out to vote for the first time right. and that was the that was on the state of Texas alone that tripled youth voter turnout in a primary when usually young people are paying attention and it's just unbelievable I mean we see it here at UT where today we registered 5,000 students to vote in one day at the University of Texas campus. Wait, is that at Hook the Vote? That's Hook the Vote. Okay. We registered 5,000 people. Um, we've never done something like that before. Um, was and, that done for the 2004 election? In the 2004, we were lucky to get 1,000. Really? Um, back during the, the primary, back during March when Hillary and Obama were going at it, we registered 2,000 in one day. Okay. So this is, I mean, almost, what is that? You know, more than doubling the amount um, of people yeah. that we register in one day, and that doesn't right. count what we've been doing for months. Right. Um, so it's really just unbelievable the, the kind of momentum that we're seeing. Young people, I, you know, the reason I think young people are so engaged are, you know, they look at their tuition bills, mm -hmm. they see tuition's gone up 64% at the University of Texas in the last four years. They see their student loans when they graduate. I'm going to be graduating with $22,000 in debt. Um, you oh know, goodness. you know they see that there's a lot of. It's not easy to be a student. No, there's a lot of not. students working. There's a lot of students doing what they're doing. Having to pay their way. Exactly. And they don't want to leave college with a bunch of loans. Exactly. And so I think young people are standing up and they're saying enough is enough. And they're voting for leaders that pay attention to their issues. They're voting for leaders that come to them and say I'm going to work for you rather than saying you have to come to me and you know earn it. We're going to do both. And that's why it's important that we register voters. Right. Now, I know you're University Democrat president, but what do you think of both the candidates this uh, year? <laughs> yeah, I was worried. I was like, I, I, okay, we can go to that. Um, I mean, obviously, I worked on the Obama campaign um, back during the March primary, so I'm a fervent supporter. I have been for months. Um, Barack Obama is my boy. Um, you know, have you met him ever? I have. I did. I've met him twice. Um, I met him back at a, a rally in Austin we had for him in, okay. here in Austin and I actually got to go to the airport to greet him um, when he was, I guess it wasn't greeting, to say goodbye, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. um, a few of the staffers were like, come with us and I loaded luggage onto his plane, that's what I had to do in order to get to meet Barack Obama, but it was cool, I mean, it's the, it's the next president of the United States. Um, well, but maybe. I nothing, think nothing certain yet. You know, we'll come back. I'm gonna look at this in a couple <laughs> months. I'm gonna say I told you so. I'll eat but my words. I think you know. I, I I look at this race and I look at the debates and I just can't. I mean, I, I don't know if I can say these sorts of things, but I just couldn't imagine voting for them. Opposite side. I don't know. This is. I don't know how y'all. That's okay. I'm just gonna say. Freedom of speech. Yeah, and I, which is another. Oh my god. Uh, we well, talk did, about what that. What did you later. think of the uh, Sarah Palin versus Joe Biden? Debate? The debate. Yeah. What do you think? That's my question. Well, I was in class, so I had to watch the Twitter. Are you kidding? Yeah, I had class until. You election. watch Twitter updates on it? Of course, election.twitter.com. Plugging for that. Election.twitter.com. Really? Yeah, and so people can like if you type in the box there, people's uh, updates can show up. That is so cool. Yeah, you should check it out. I'm gonna go check that out. Yeah. Um, well, so I finished okay. everything, yeah. So are you... Uh, no, not everything. Well, no, so I, it's in my you bag. you got to look it up? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you're almost there. That, I finished it. I got my thing. Um, Zach, are you a deputy registrar? I am a deputy registrar. Can you sign it? Yes, even of though course. Okay. Let me sign it. Score. Let me make sure you got everything correct. You are a yeah, new applicant. Yeah, I've never registered. Voting in Austin? Yes. All right. I'm from Austin. You know all about, you know what, I'm going to sign it right here. Okay. And I've got to give you your receipt. Let me tell you about your receipt. Um, this right here, the receipt, is very important because 
because you registered to vote so late, okay. with only three <laughs> hours to go, now you're almost a little bit less, um, you're good though, darling, because you are registered to vote. What I'm doing right now is I'm giving you, I'm giving you basically your voter registration card. Um, you are registered to vote. So I'm going to sign this, and I'm going to date this. Okay. And what you do is you take this, fill out the rest of the information when you get home, okay. put it somewhere safe where okay. you're not going to lose it, and when you go to vote for early voting, and which is important because the lines are going to be long. When does early voting start? Yes. Early voting starts on October 20th okay. and runs to Halloween. Okay. Um, and on October 20th, if you go to vote, you can go to the FAC on campus. Right. It could not be easier for you. <laughs> it couldn't be easier for but you. But I should expect lines, maybe. You should. I okay. mean, but I mean, when you're walking by during class, go if nobody's there. Sure. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Okay. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to keep this. Keep that. Take fill it away. out. Um, take I can it with start you on the 20th. On the 20th, okay. you can start. Take that and a, and a picture ID, gotcha. and you can vote. Driver's license will work. You'll be able to vote. Passport works. Passport works. Okay. Student ID works. You can use anything that's got your picture and your name. Gotcha. You're good to go. Okay, so do I give this to you? And yes, I take this after you put. After I put my driver's license number on there, I have to do that. It's in my purse. She'll but uh, yeah, I'm registered to vote, and I will be there October 20th at the FAC. Absolutely.